Hey guys, welcome back to Johnny Cakes. Um, I was gonna try to say hey guys in French because we're making a La Crusade today, but I don't know. Hey, how do you say hi? Bonjour, bonjour, enchanté, Muzzy language films for kids. Did you watch Muzzy? It was a big bear. You never watch Muzzy? It's yeah. like enchanté, the homosexual. It's like oh, the homosexual. You know, it's like very that. I am a baker, not so much a cook. So I thought it would be fun and thrilling to like think you're getting a pot of like food, like a Dutch <laughs> oven of like bolognese. Then you cut into it and it's not bolognese, it's cake. It's gonna be a really fun cake. It's gonna be a lot of molding because there are like, look at this, look at the indentations on the top of the lid, the handle is perfect. The, you know, everything is, needs to be exact. It's a little more scientific today. LOL scientific. Welcome to Bill Nye the Science Guy's YouTube channel. All right, so let's get started on it. So the first thing we have to do is roll out the modeling chocolate. We're gonna drape it inside of the pot and sort of make a mold. We're gonna push it up against the sides, you'll see. Um, I do need to roll out modeling chocolate to the correct perimeter, circumference of this pot. Start conference. So let's see, one, okay, so this is nine and a half inches. Pie. <laughs> one moment. Hey Siri, what is the circumference of a nine and a half inch circle? I found this on the web. Yeah. Like I could search it on the web. Siri, what, really? All right, hang on, I gotta Google. So if the diameter is nine and a half, then the circumference is 29 inches. Okay, so we have to roll out 29 inches. Great, that's long. We don't really, because it'll stretch. So about 29 inches. So let's do this, okay? We're gonna put some cornstarch down, and then we're gonna roll this puppy out. It's probably too much cornstarch, but whatever. All right, great, so we're gonna cut this to size. Let's do a little bit. I I'm gonna over cornstarch this. Um, I know this seems ridiculous, but I can totally brush all of this cornstarch off later. It just needs a huge amount of cornstarch so that it will release from the pan when I want it to. One, two, three. Think about this as a pie crust going into a pie tin. The outside needs to look pretty and will look pretty because you're pressing it up against the sides of the tin but the inside, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Okay, so this is a lesson for the kids at home. It doesn't need to look pretty on the inside. It just needs to look pretty on the outside. So only worry about your outside. So get Botox, kids. A cool thing about modeling chocolate is that when it's warm, it's very pliable. But when it's cold, and once you pop it in the fridge, it hardens and, and it holds its shape. So we gotta get this cold. So let's put it in the fridge. I'm gonna put it in for an hour, let's say. That's gonna take a minute to chill, so this is a good time to make our gelatin mold for the lid top. You can see there's all these grooves and all this detail on the lid um, of the La Crusade, so we uh, wanna get all of that fine detail. So the best way to do that is with a gelatin mold. Basically, it's a really, really, think of like the world's strongest jello. You could pull at it and it wouldn't break apart. That makes for an edible mold. So that's what we're gonna do. Put whatever you wanna mold in a larger container and then we melted down some gelatin and we're gonna fill it up. This is just a mix of gelatin and glycerin. Glycerin gives it like a stretch. So this just has to set. It can set at room temperature or, or you can put it in the fridge if you wanna speed the process along. Chill break, it's a chill break. Had a coffee break, the mold set. We're gonna flip this upside down, release the mold, and hopefully it like took the correct shape of the lid of the pot. Yep. We're gonna take this out. Look at that, folks. Oh, you can really see the Le Creuset inside. I love that. This kind of detail would be next to impossible to achieve without a mold. Great, so now we're gonna take this mold and fill it with modeling chocolate. Really work this in. There's gonna be some excess modeling chocolate that you can take off. So we have the modeling chocolate in the mold. I'll pop it in the fridge and then pull it out in an hour or so. So Le Creuset's have these really sturdy, hefty handles on them. 
It's one of my favorite parts about the pot. So I molded one of the handles and we're going to fill it with more of our modeling chocolate. Another thing I'm gonna do, since this is sort of like an appendage on the cake, it sticks out and it's free, like hold, you know, it's sort of freestanding. I'm gonna take a floral wire, not edible. It's a one non-edible part of this cake. And I'm going to insert it into this. That way this floral wire can stick into the cake. So we let this set in the mold. Once it's finished setting, it will look a little bit like this. You get the handle, you have the floral wire sticking out. Perfect. Ha, ha, ha. These Dutch ovens have this really handsome, sleek top. It's like made out of metal. I have, I think, perfected the perfect faux metal effect. And in order to do it, you have to use either tempered chocolate or candy melts. So I got all my candy melts here. We're gonna end up painting our lid with an edible silver dust. But what I want is for there to be a base color that looks kind of silvery. So I'm gonna use white and black, and that will give a gray color to our lid top. And then we can brush it over with the silver dust, and it will really make that color come to come alive and look shiny. And then we're gonna melt this down in the microwave. Uh, I'm trying to do 50%. Oh, power level. 30 seconds and then power level five. Wait. Five. Oh my God, I'm gonna get cancer standing in front of the microwave. Why is this so hard? The, am I the villain here? I don't think I'm the villain. I think the microwave's the villain. You, you know what, 30 seconds. We're gonna do full blast 30 seconds. Hopefully it doesn't burn. It's just a little warm, so we gotta keep going. But I really wanna get this on power level. Like, am I? Yeah, it's fine. I don't, the microwave won the battle. I will win the war. Okay, so we're getting like a sort of a grayish color. That's perfect. So we're gonna take this chocolate and fill it into a piping bag. So let's pipe this inside of our mold. Okay, kids, look away. This is R-rated. So we're done filling up the mold. I'm gonna put it in the fridge to set a little faster. All right, that's chilling in the freezer and we're going to now fill the pot with cake and ganache. So we're going to fill this pot with layers of cake and chocolate ganache. So I'm gonna fill the bottom with ganache. All right, let's put in our first layer of cake right into the pot. And you can kind of see, it just sort of sits in there. Then we're gonna put one more layer of cake in. And then we'll do some more ganache on top. So we're gonna pop this in the fridge. We want the ganache to set hard so that it, it can't jiggle around and move so that when we flip this upside down, the cake will just release. So the chocolate in the mold is pretty set. So we're gonna pop it out and see what it looks like. Let's talk about this. There's imperfections, there's lumps and bumps and dents. Totally fine, that's why we're using modeling chocolate. I can smooth over it, I can add some where it needs it. It's gonna look really good in a minute. I have made sure that the lid top is set uh, in its mold, so now I can release it. It's set so you can be a little rough with it. So now we need to make it metallic so it looks more like a real lid top. So I'm gonna brush it with this, it's called luster dust. This is gonna make it really come alive and look metallic. Alrighty, I think that's pretty good, y'all. Great, I'm gonna set this aside and we'll add it to the top of the cake when it's finished. Oh, it's Andrew from Is It Cake. Andrew from Is It Cake is with a drag queen. The gays are gaying. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> the gays are gaying here too. This is not exciting, we're just taking vodka. Oh, we're hitting the bottle. We're making airbrush color. So let's get going. We're gonna airbrush. This is the fun part. This is a little creative. This is gonna give it that gradient color differential. And I think it's gonna really make it pop. I'm very excited about this part. The thing about airbrushing is it takes a minute to like see it come alive. Okay, so we did one coat. We have to let it set for about 10 minutes before I can do another coat. So we got 10 minutes to kill. What can I do in 10 minutes? Chill break. It's a chill break. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right, we took a break. <clears throat> it was a good break. We're coming back and we're doing round two of airbrushing. So, the moment of truth. Oh, I'm really nervous. Okay, so this cake in the pot has to come out. 
it should come out. We used more cornstarch than, we used all the cornstarch they had at the store. I don't know. Um, oh my God, I was at the store the other day and I was in the baking aisle and I was looking at the box cake mixes. I bake from scratch all the time. I'm a baker, but I, I had to bake something really quick. So I'm like looking at the box cake mixes and this woman comes out to me and she goes, please don't buy any of that crap. And I was like, is she talking to me? She's like, the chemicals in that, they're awful, they're disgusting, ugh. And me being like from the Midwest and being like scared of people, I was like, uh, okay. She left, I did buy it, but she was like next to me in the checkout line and I had to like hide it so that she didn't know. Anyway, okay, so let's let's take this out of the, out of the pot. All right, wish me luck. Oh, I'm nervous. <sighs> okay, one, two, three. Five hours later. All right, so we're gonna start airbrushing to give this that nice color gradient. Uh, and we have to do it in like three stages. We do a coat, we wait 10 minutes, we do another coat, we wait 10 minutes. Um, and if we don't wait, the, the airbrush color will sort of beat up on the modeling chocolate and we'll look bad. All right, time to put the cake together. This is the spooky part. There you have it, a La Crusade cake. I hope you liked it. It was fun to make. Um, and I really hope that you guys are all breaking your New Year's resolutions and eating tons of cake. In that spirit, let's cut this bad boy. Mm. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I need your love. I didn't get it as a kid. <laughs>